My brothers, I caution you from the bottom of my heart. Don't go down in history as the house niggas who said we all got to suffer just because you want bragging rights. Role models, buddy. Listen to the Killer Taste song. Listen to other rap songs. We didn't have role models. We didn't have fathers. My father was out busting his back as a brain surgeon for the white man. 16 hours a day. You know, he's in debt, suffering. I can't really explore it because it's his business. It's not cool, man. They ripped him off for millions after we gave millions to society. And they want to pretend they're superior and that we're monkeys. Monkeys who should be told what to do. Domesticated, conditioned, and put to work. And made as productive as monkeys can be. But don't hold them to the standard of white men. Or allow them into the same neighborhoods, exclusive restaurants, and clubs. If you think that masonry doesn't have that attitude, explain why they do not let blacks into masonry and talk about tolerance, fraternity, and brotherhood. Masonry is soaked in hypocrisy and Satanism, and every last one of you knows it. I fought for honor. Reflexive honor means when the white man does certain things, automatically you strike back. For example, if a white man rapes your wife, you cut his fucking head off as soon as you find him. If a white man does you fucking wrong and plays stupid about it and you're sure, you kill him and his family. This is how things were done. I'm not saying you should do that, but I'm saying that is our tradition. And if you, they honestly expected me to put their business interests above my people, just like they expected Bumpy Johnson. And he had a less, less of a reason to stand up for his people than I do. His main thing was, you know, keep your white culture of violence, criminality and masonry that, that way, that specific way of masonry out of our neighborhood, you know, your, your version of masonry, you know, me, I'm against all masonry, but that's what his argument was. And he said, my argument is way, way deeper than that. I'm sticking up for my people way, way more than that. And the fact that you, some of you are even considering that a criminal did something more important than what I'm doing is absolutely appalling, man. Y'all need to read a book, buddy. I've given you books to read, man. Good start. It's a good start, okay? I read so many more books than this, man. Go on the internet. I used to find sites where they would let me just read, you know, um, books on the internet for free. You know, I just read Behold a Pale Horse. I read that way. You know, that's when I first found this book, on and on. You know, find, you know, go to the library. Get a Kindle, you know, whatever they get these days. And, you know, do what you do, man. Fuck their technology. I have a degree in information technology. I don't read a single computer magazine or frequent any websites. I don't keep up to date. I don't care, man. Even after getting a degree in their bullshit, you know, I know that my martial arts is deeper than their geek science. I promise you that, man. Fuck their geek science. All their geek science mean dick, you know? The smartest people I've ever met in my life were people like me. Insightful, sharp, focused. Not some geek who's like, I get it, I get it, and I'm good at this one thing, you know? No, focused. Transferable, universal. Dear black people, I want you to understand the significance of this debate with the ruling class. I've already proven that I'm the top martial artist and that they hide. They have every reason to find someone to beat me, to silence me. That's the easiest way to do it. Not the hundred grand they've offered or any other fake or real offers they've put out there. Not gang stalking, not drugging, but simply find someone to beat me. If it's simply a game of tag, as they've described it, that's kind of like saying shooting is a, a game of touching someone else first with a bullet, right? Um, then why can't you find someone else to beat me at that game? Mm, when it's the most common form of martial arts competition, your argument kind of doesn't hold up. If you were that smart, you would have been found them within a month. You know, we're going on fucking four years. Fuck off with that bullshit. If you cops really care about keeping people safe, I will mediate with my people. And I'll say, look, you know, I've changed my stance and I think we should keep people safe. You know, and, and and they've given me my rightful place. They've done everything and they've made up for everything. Compensation, you name it. You're not going to do that. You're not going to change your ways. You're not going to give me the things that are rightfully ours. And you've insulted us over and over again. And I applied Christianity over 777 times. I've counted them. Major issues I've forgiven the white man in my life. Now you're at 778. It's time for you. To start doing the right thing. Or the Avenger will not be pleased, my friend.
And again, none of these videos I made the last 10, none of them are threats. I put in the comments. These are poetic, spiritual expressions. You know, you can't understand what I'm trying to say. With your Western perspective, you have to critically think and apply truth. You know, if you don't live in reality, don't try to understand my videos. Go watch some, you know, uh, My Little Pony, you know, reruns or something. You bitch ass nigga. You know, you're not going to cling on to white social norms and understand, you know, why I'm right. You know, you have to think outside this little devil Babylon box and come to reality. Come on. Wake up. Smell the coffee. Come on. Come on. You know, we all know. No matter how you slice their arguments, I keep destroying them just like the video before this where I destroyed my mom's argument. She is a white doctor, national marriage scholar. Brain surgeon's wife. Tell me why I destroyed her argument. Boom, boom. Every time she even opened her mouth. Tell me why. Why am I so much more perceptive? You white people will say, if you're so smart, this, this, and this. If you're so smart, how come the lady who's smarter than all of you and none of you would say otherwise just got owned completely with her life philosophy and she has age and wisdom on her side? Is it because women are inferior? Is it because black people are superior? Or is it because you won't give me my credit because you're greedy, selfish, godless scum? Which one is it? If we value intellect over superstition, why am I alone in the middle of nowhere? If the white man's scale of fair is better than mine, why are we all so unhappy? If the white man's social order is greater than mine, how come everyone stole from our social order? Like, yes, that's a great idea. And everyone's like, oh, those guys are idiots and corrupt. Think. Do we dance to the white man's tune? Or do we play reggae? Or Do we wrestle on the ground like white gays want us to do? That's white gay martial arts. You know, or, or not even, excuse me, martial ways, you know, a sports fighting competition. You, I, I call them martial ways because I'm trying not to insult them. I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt, okay, by calling them martial ways. I'm saying, you know what? I'm going to pretend, and not even pretend, I'm going to say that it's martial ways, you know, to tr try to give you just that little bit of extra respect that you don't deserve. Only because I have to completely tell the truth and destroy you to save society. All you're thinking about, but I invested a lot in the UFC and Big Pharma. Look, I don't give a shit about your investments. Fuck your investments. Your investments kill my people. I dare you to come to my face and say, you better not fuck with my investments. Fuck your people. I dare you. Real martial arts strategy is speed. 15 hits. 1.26.